Hello and welcome to Jira workflow tutorial. In this tutorial, we will test the workflow that we created till now. So in last tutorial, we have uh, tested the uh, workflow for the condition that a person needs to be in the developer group to transition an issue from development to in testing. Now in this tutorial, we'll see or test that the condition wherein the resolution needs to be set to done once the issue is moved to done state right so at the moment we are into rcv jira workflow tutorial workflow let's view it and see the condition that we define so we define a condition or uh, we define a post function basically for um, the transition done so when an issue moves from in testing to done we define that set the resolution of the issue to be as done right so now we are let's check we are in the correct project yes we are in the rcv academy project and we are on the board at the moment now if i move this issue from in testing to done so let's first see the resolution of this current issue and the resolution currently says unresolved right now, if I move this from in testing to done, resolution should automatically be updated to resolve. So let's refresh this stat, uh, this issue. And now you can see the resolution has been automatically set to done. And that's what the post functions do. So, you know, like you can define a multiple post function which can update um, various fields in a particular issue automatically and you don't have to worry about um, the field updation once the issue transitions from one state to another state similarly you can update the assignee or the reporter as well um, with the post function so there are lots and lots of possibilities and uh, other add-ons available as well to update the post functions and uh, make your jira workflows really really powerful so that's pretty much all about the Jira workflow tutorial series. Um, so to summarize or to reiterate, in this tutorial series, we have learned how you can create a workflow from scratch, then how you can edit the workflow different statuses, add a new status, then add the transitions, edit the transitions. Uh, after that, how you can add different conditions validation validators and post functions uh, as well as triggers to the transitions um, once you are done and finalized with your workflow the next step we learned is to how to associate the workflow with the workflow scheme which in turn will be associated with the particular project and then we also learned how a particular workflow can be associated to only particular issue type and not all issue type right so if you see um, this particular workflow it's the it's for the story right and we had chosen this workflow for only story epic uh, task and bug but if we choose any other um, subtask for example let's see this subtask the workflow for the subtask was different which was the custom workflow right so we have also understood how you can um, associate different workflow to different issue types in the same workflow scheme and then associate that workflow scheme to the project so we also associated we also learn how you can associate the scheme to the project and then eventually how the scheme gets um, activated and workflows get active um, in active state from inactive state post that we learned how you can customize your board for the project and then map the different statuses so if you go to configure there as soon as you link a new workflow then there will be uh, the all the statuses in the new workflow will be in the unmapped status then we have learned how you can create the new column and map those statuses to uh, as per the new workflow and then we learned or we actually went through and tested this new workflow 
and different validations and post functions that we configured in this particular workflow. So that's pretty much all about this Jira workflow tutorial series. Hope you liked the whole series. Please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching.